So I had a, an early experience with oncology as a teenager. My grandma had lung cancer, kind of battled with that for a couple years. And so I had the privilege of seeing her interact with her oncologist and the great relationship that they had. The best thing about the longitudinal relationship that you know you get as an oncologist with with a patient is the often the ability to see them do well over time. You help them through a big diagnosis, you try to get them through appropriate treatment, manage side effects, and you really become close with the patient over time. And hopefully you can send them off into survivorship clinic and, and see them do well for many, many years. UH's motto, the science of medicine, the art of compassion, it really is relatable to the field of oncology. And I think that a good bedside manner with an oncologist is as meaningful for being up to date with the latest science. I do my best to give them all the information that they need to make an informed treatment decision. They have a whole sequence of treatment events. And when you finally bring them to that finish line and can say, you know, you're done, uh, there's no evidence of cancer right now. It's incredibly moving, I think, for both parties. And it's just nice to be able to send them off to regain some normalcy in their lives.